In this video, I will be teaching you how to solve polynomial equations. For example, we have this polynomial x cubed minus 1 and uh, equals 0. So this is a polynomial equation and we're going to find the value of x. So the, all the values of x that can make this uh, x cubed minus 1 in, uh, into 0 if we're going to substitute x by a value. Now, how to do it? Observe that this is a difference of two cubes. So it's x cubed minus one cube because one cube is still one. And if you can remember the rule for difference of two cubes, it's going to be a minus b times uh, a squared plus ab times a uh, plus b squared, where a is the x cube and the b is our uh, one. So let us. Uh, follow the rule. So it's going to be x minus 1 times square of x plus x times 1, still x, plus 1 square, which is 1, equals 0. And so we can we uh, we can get now the value of x using the x minus 1 factor. That's x minus 1 equals 0, which is x equals 1. That's one uh, value of x that makes the x cubed minus 1 into 0. Now for the trinomial, we need to use the um, uh, quadratic formula because x, squ x squared plus x plus 1 is not factorable. So we, we need to use the uh, quadratic formula to find the roots of this uh, expression. So let us substitute where our a is 1 for numerical coefficient of x squared. And the b is 1, numerical coefficient of x, and c is the constant 1. So let us substitute. Let's change b to, to 1, a to 1, and c to 1. So everything, all the numerical coefficients are 1. And then let us simplify further. 1 squared is 1. 4 times 1 times 1 is 4. Then let us continue. So we just copied the last uh, part to have more space and then we subtract now 1 minus 4 insert inside the radical sign that is negative 3 and then uh, square root of negative 3 you might wonder it, is it possible it, yes it is possible to have a square root of negative number that, that involves imaginary number so how does it uh, work so we're gonna, we're gonna separate the square root of negative 3 into square root of negative 1 and square root of 3 so that's still b squared of negative 3. We're going to multiply square root of negative 1 and square root of 3. Because square root of negative 1, we separate it because it is equal to i, or the imaginary number. So square root of negative 1 is the i. So it becomes i square root of 3. So this is the root negative 1 plus and minus i square root of 3 all over 2. So there are two roots involved here, the plus and the minus. So let us write now the final answer. So the value of x that makes it that makes the polynomial zero is equal to first is one that's the first root, second is the negative one plus i squared of three all over two, and the negative one minus i squared of three all over two because in the 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 one on top it is saying that it's plus minus it's the plus and the minus, and those are the roots of our polynomial equation. So let's have another example. We have x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 3 equals 0. So let us solve this. So first is we're going to factor this uh, polynomial expression. And how to factor this, we can actually use factoring by grouping. But I will just use of synthetic division to make it more general. So let's put the numerical coefficients and just put the line and in a box. So we're going to do trial and error to find the right root in, to put inside the box. But we can limit the number of options using the uh, rational root theorem. So if you don't know what is it, uh, you can check on my video, previous video about uh, rational root theorem, which will help you to lessen the number of options to guess that uh, you're going to try we're doing trial and error in synthetic division. 
and so I will just put the right root directly so that it's the same time which is negative 3 and then let us put the first value which is 1 1 times negative 3 negative 3 3 plus negative 3 is 0 0 times negative 3 is 0 negative 1 plus 0 is negative 1 negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3 negative 3 plus 3 is 0 so there is no remainder or zero, the remainder is 0 so let us change now the quotient into um, polynomial so the first uh, term is the constant negative 1 second term is uh, 0x third term is the 1x squared where we can write it uh, in this way we, we can remove the 1 in the x squared and we can remove the 0x because it, anyway it's 0 times x is 0. So we have a, co a, um, a quotient x squared minus 1. But remember this is difference of 2 squares. Where uh, we can factor this as like this. a squared minus b squared. That can be factored as a minus b times a plus b. And you might wonder where's the b squared. 1 is can be written as 1 squared. So one, that 1 times 1 is just 1. So that's why it is still difference of two squares. So let us now write the factored form. So we let's write first the x minus a, where a is the the root, which is the negative three, x minus negative three, times the x the x squared minus one. Where we are going to factor it, it will be x minus one times x plus one. So let's rewrite the minus negative. So let's write it as plus 3 because minus negative means plus negative times negative is positive then the x minus 1 and x plus 1 so this is the factored form of our the, our given polynomial x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 3 so let us solve now for the roots so let's go back to our given and this is the factored form x plus 3 times x minus 1 times x plus 1 equals 0 so either of these three uh, should be zero to make the whole thing, the whole expression zero. So it's either that this is equal to zero, the x minus one equals zero, or the x plus one equals zero. So either of, of these three equations will be zero. So let us solve when x plus three equals zero, x is negative three. For x minus one equals zero, x is equal to one. And for x plus 1 equals 0, x equals negative 1. So that means to make the given polynomial expression 0, then the x must be either negative 3, 1, or negative 1. Another example, we have x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6 equals 0. So let us use synthetic division to solve this. So we put the numerical coefficients and then let's put the line in a box. And we're going to put uh, the, the root directly to save time. But of course, for you, you have to do it, uh, you do trial and error and lessen the option using the rational root theorem. So I'll just put directly the root, that's 2. So let's put the first number 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. 1 plus negative 4 is negative 3. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. 6 plus negative 6 is 0. So remainder is 0. And let's change the quotient into a polynomial. Negative 3, negative 2x, and x squared, or the 1x squared. But observe that this trinomial can be factored. So let us factor this. We have the factors of x squared x and x. x times x is x squared. And negative 3 is negative 3 and 1. Or it can be also 3 and negative 1. But let us try to check if this is the correct pairing. So cr let's cross multiply. So this is equal to uh, x times negative 3 is negative 3x. x times 1 is x. Let combine. So it will be negative 2x. So if it's the same as the middle, then we have a correct pairing. So let us factor now. So let's write the x minus a, raise the root, which is 2, and times the factor of the trinomial, which is x minus 3 times x plus 1. 
So this is now the factored form. And let's go back to the given to solve for the roots. So here's the given, and the factored form is x minus 2 times x minus 3 times x plus 1 equals 0. So to make the whole expression 0, either of these three will be 0. The x minus 2, x minus 3, and the x plus 1. Then let's solve for x. So if x minus 2 equals 0, so x is 2. If x minus 3 must be 0, then x is 3. And if x plus 1 is equal to 0, then x must be negative 1. So the roots of this um, expression, uh, uh, polynomial equation is 2, 3, and negative 1. So let's have another example. We have x to the 4th minus 5x squared minus 36 equals 0. So we may not use synthetic division to this equation because it is factorable. So we can factor it this way. We have x squared and x squared. That is the factor of x to the 4th. And um, negative 9 and 4 for negative 36. So there are so many possible ways to uh, factor this 36. It can be negative 12 and 3. Three, uh, negative 3 and 12, negative 4 and 9, and so on. So you can you, you can do trial and error to find the correct pairing. So let us um, cross multiply to check. So negative 9 x squared, that's the product of negative 9 and x squared. 4 times x squared is 4 x squared. And then combine it, it is negative 5 x squared. So that means the uh, if the term is uh, if the middle term is the same as to the sum, then it's uh, the correct pairing. So let's write now the, fact, the factored form. It's x squared minus 9 times x squared plus 4 equals 0. Now observe that x squared minus 9 can be written as x squared minus 3 squared. So it's difference of 2 squares, where the rule for difference of 2 squares is a minus b times a plus b. And so let us uh, factor it. It's x minus 3 times x plus 3 times the x squared plus 4 equals 0. And so let us solve for x. So x minus 3 equals 0, or x plus 3 equals 0, or x squared plus 4 equals 0. So for x minus 3 equals 0, x is 3. For x plus 3 equals 0, x is negative 3. For x squared plus 4 equals 0, so you can transpose positive 4, it's negative 4 now. And take the square root of both sides, so it will be square root of negative 4. Then we can separate negative square root of negative 4 into square root of negative 1 and square root of 4. Because we can have the square root of negative 1 as the i, or the imaginary number. Then we can also get the square root of 4, which is positive and negative 2. So it will be plus and minus 2i. So the roots are 3, negative 3, positive 2i, and negative 2i. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.